My name is Lisa Thompson. I'm a fish biologist and as a fish biologist my main job is to go out and do research and also work with the public and educate them about fish issues. A lot of the issues relate to water. Uh, for instance, the river we're sitting beside here is used for recreational rafting, irrigation water. They might have more issues with pollution in some other places. A lot of places still would be dealing with invasive species, species being introduced from different parts of the country and competing with the native species. So one sucker for you. Probably people will end up dealing with some climate change issues over the next hundred years in different parts of the country that would change water temperatures and a lot of fish are really sensitive to that. Full length, 16 and a half. Inches? Okay. A lot of my work is spent seeing what fish are doing out in the wild. So we might just be out, say, on a farm at a ranch and snorkeling to see what fish are there because the farmers might be interested in whether or not there's an endangered species there that they might want to manage their water more effectively. River right, eggs, 11-11, and about two feet deep. I really think knowledge helps people to coexist with fish. This is a temperature and oxygen meter. A big part of what we do is we change their habitat. A big part of their habitat is water. So if we're changing when we store water in a reservoir and then release it, the water isn't going through the stream at the time the fish would be expecting it, so that can throw them off. So we change a lot of the habitat, and as long as we leave enough for the fish to still do their thing, they can coexist with us. But it's figuring out that balance. The water's kind of sloshing in and out here. I was wondering if the river's coming up. I think Fish are a wonderful indicator of how the aquatic ecosystem is doing and actually you know, the area we're in here is called the riparian ecosystem right along the stream. If these areas aren't healthy for fish, they're not going to make it. If the fish are sick with pollution, we probably don't want to be drinking the water, having our kids go swimming in it, eating fish that have come out of there. If the fish are doing well, typically it means the whole system is doing well. It means it's a healthy place for us too. 